Hello everyone. In this video, today we will learn the use of bevel protractor for angular measurement purpose. A bevel protractor or a universal bevel protractor is one of the angular measuring instrument used for close tolerances within 5 minutes. It works on a vernier principle and it is used for measuring and testing angles and the precision angles to 5 minutes, 0 0.083 degrees. Now let's look into a few parts of the bevel protractor. It has a solid base and the base is always to be kept on a flat surface. It has an optical lens. It has a civil plate, a blade. It has a center lock nut to lock the civil plate. There is also a lock nut for the blade to lock the blade at required positions. There is also a fine adjustment screw and the fine adjustment screw is used in order to set a value instead of doing measurement processes. Now let's look into the few usage of the bevel protractor. The bevel protractor has a main scale which is broken down into four parts of 0 to 90 degree each and it can read a value of range from 0 to 360 degrees. The main scale is attached to the base plate and the vernier scale is attached to the civil plate. This, the vernier scale has 12 divisions on either side of the zero and each division on the vernier scale reads 5 minutes. Now let us see how to look into the graduations of the bevel protractor and see a few measured processes. Now let's look into a few slides on the bevel protractor. Here you have a, we have a bevel protractor and there is also an acute angle attachment attached to the base of the bevel protractor. We have a digital bevel protractor. The digital bevel protractor has an accuracy of one minute compared to the actual, which is normal bevel protractor, which has an accuracy of only five minutes. The bevel protractor acute angle attachment has one of the sides made angle of 30 degree, while the blades on either sides have 45 degrees and 60 degrees each. This angle can be used for direct measurements of a component whenever required. Now let's look into the least count of the bevel protractor. The least count can be defined as the smallest divisions on the main scale to the number of divisions on the vernier scales. This is the ma main scale and the smallest division is 1 degree. On the vernier scale, we have 1 degree being divided into 12 number of parts and each part is 5 minutes. And how do we get this? 1 degree is 60 minutes divided by 12, we have 5 minutes. At any point of time, we will be using either of the verniers and not both together. Which, which side of the vernier to refer it depends on the side of the main scale. In this case, 0, 10, 20, 30 is towards this side, that is towards the clockwise. So I will look into the vernier divisions which is ahead of 0. So I will look into this vernier scale divisions for the co to find the coinciding vernier divisions. Now let's look into how to take readings on the bevel protractor. For the first, we will always look into the 0 of the vernier scale. That will be the reference. So in this, the 0 of the vernier scale is coinciding somewhere in between 20 and 30 of the main scale. To look into very fine details, it is 25. 26, 27, 28 and 29. So it is coinciding in between 28 and 29 degrees. So it is 28 degrees and some amount of minutes. To find the amount of minutes, I will look into this vernier. I will look into this vernier because the, the main scale reading goes on towards the clockwise directions and I need to refer that as the reference. So I will look into one line. I will try to search for that line which coincides with the main scale divisions at any point of time only one of the lines will coincide with the main scale line. So let me start from looking from the starting line onwards not this not this <coughs> probably this yes I see that the 15th line or the third division is coinciding with the main scale divisions so then I can call this as the, the reading as 28 degrees and 15 minutes. Now let's look into another conditions 
where we have the main scale running on the anti-clockwise directions. So, in this case the reference vernier scale will also be towards that direction. So, I will need to refer this scale. So, let me see how to take the readings on this. My reference is always 0. So, I will look for 0 over here and the 0 coincides in between the main scales of 50 and 51 degrees. So, the reading on the degree side is 50 degrees and the readings on the minute scale I need to look into this vernier. So, let me start looking from the first line onwards, not this, not this, not this. I see that this line is coinciding with the main scale line. So, it is the fourth line which is 4 into 5, so it is 20 degrees. So, the overall angle which has been measured over here is 50 degrees and 20 minutes. Now, let us see how to use a bevel protractor for different measurement conditions. In this figure, we see the bevel protractor used for acute angle measurement. The component one of the side is kept on the acute angle attachment and the blade is on the other side and the angle can be measured here directly. We also see an obtuse angle measurement. In this case, the base is kept on a flat and rigid surface. The component is held tightly with the help of an angle plate and the blade is kept on one of the sides of the components and its angle is measured on the vernier scale. The bevel protractor can also be lifted to different heights by attaching its base on a lifting component with a measurement such as a vernier height gauge. In this figure, the base of the bevel protractor is held tightly on a vernier height gauge and the component to be measured is fixed on an attachment device and the blade is tightened towards the angle of the component and the finally the angle is measured over here. The bevel protractor can also be used for many other measurements as shown in this figure for V block, for acute angle and for a flat and a ground inside surface. Now, let us use the bevel protractor to measure the angle of this component. This is an angle gauge and let us see how to use a bevel protractor to measure its angle. I will take the bevel protractor, loosen the lock nut and the nut of the blade and I will keep the base on the surface plate and I will keep the component in the nearest positions and I will keep the tip of the blade on the component and then I will try to move the blade away from the component such a way that the blade sits parallelly on the component. Now, with two fingers on the base, I will use another two fingers to tighten the lock nut. Also, my fingers on the left hand is tightly on the blade so that the blade does not get lifted from the component. After tightening, I will also tighten the lock nut on the blade and then I will take the bevel protractor in my hand at an eye level. I will make sure it is at an eye level to avoid any kind of parallax error and then I will look into the magnifying glasses and now I will look and ident try to identify what is the reading. Now, let us look how to take the reading of this component. I will look for the vernier 0. The vernier 0 is over here and I will look where it is coinciding with the main scale. I see that it is coinciding in between 14 degrees and 15 degrees. So, my angle is 14 degrees and some minutes. The degree readings are going forth in the anti-clockwise direction. I need to refer the vernier which is on that side. So, this will be the vernier I refer. I need to find out which line on the, which among the 12 lines coincides with the main scale line. So, I see here, I look into each of the lines and I see that the 30th line is coinc the 30 degree line is coinciding the main scale line. So, I can now say that the readings over here are 14 degrees and 30 minutes. Let us use the bevel protractor to measure the angle of a very small component and the angle is small here is an angle gauge of 5 degrees. Let us see how to use the bevel protractor. In the same way how we used it in the previous case, I take the bevel protractor 
and I loosen the lock nut and the blade and I keep the tip of the blade on the tip of the component and I pull the blade and pull the base in such a way that and I see that even though the, the base has moved to the extreme ends of the blade, the blade is still not sitting parallelly or flat on the component. A condition like this, I'm not able to use a bevel protractor effectively and I need to tell, take the help of some other components in order to measure it. So what I do over here is, I use the standard heights of slip gauges and I then keep the component on the slip gauges. So I make sure that it is still flat and then I will repeat the experiment with the tip of the blade on the tip of the component and I pull the base and make sure it sits flat and parallel on the component. Two fingers on the base, two fingers to tighten the lock nut, tighten the blade nut and take the bevel protractor, keep it right in front of the eyes and avoid parallax error and take the readings. Now let's look into the angle of the second component. Here I look for the zero of the vernier as the reference and I will look into the main scale divisions where it is coinciding. I see here it is coinciding in between 4 degrees and 5 minutes. That means the readings are 4 degrees and some minutes. Now I'll, the, the main scale is going towards the anti-clockwise side. So I will look into the anti-clockwise side and that side of the vernier. So this is the vernier which I need to refer. Now I see that, let me search for the line which is coinciding. I see that the tenth line is coinciding. The tenth line is 50 minutes. So I can say that the reading is 4 degrees and 50 minutes. Now let's use the bevel protractor to ma measure the angle of this component. I would be interested to find the, this angle with respect to the horizontal. Now in this case, since the, the component is having a shape which is different than the previous shapes, the setup requirement is slightly different. So first of all, I have to change the blade from a longer one to shorter one and then I need to keep a standard height and then I keep the base of the bevel protractor on the standard height and then I will tilt the blade such a way that it makes and I'll, it, may, it sits perfectly flat on the surface. One of my finger is on the blade pushing it against the component. Another two of my fingers is holding the component tightly towards the flat, the surface plate. Another two of my fingers is on the, the surface plate with lifted high with the help of slip gauges. And then I will use these two fingers to lock the central nut. Once I lock the central nut, I will also try to lock the blade nut. At all these times, my finger has always been on the base. Now I will take it on my eye level and I will see the angle. The angle is 44 degrees and 40 minutes. In this video today, we have seen how to use a bevel protractor. We have seen the principle of working of bevel protractor and we have seen the use of bevel protractor to measure the angle of three different components. With this, we come to the end of this video. Thank you.